The student selected to speak on behalf of the class of 2012 is Hung Cook Stevens. And everyone calls him HK. So HK, in a moment, I'm gonna ask you to stand by your chair. Stand up, stand there. While I introduce you, and then you come to the lectern to give your remarks. You're still there, okay. HK is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering and a GPA of 4.0. As a member of Engineer Without Borders, he went to Peru and to Brazil to establish clean water projects. And he also served as a youth minister. Upon graduation, he will pursue a master's degree in environmental engineering at the University of Maryland. It's my pleasure to introduce HK. President Lowe, distinguished guests, and most of all, fellow graduates, welcome. I would like to share something about compassion and then tell a story that means a lot to me. Compassion for me is the motivation for our hearts to be moved to action. I believe compassion is necessary for a successful life and career. However, compassion is a difficult thing to master. Just like our minds, our hearts need time and effort to mature. I believe we need to develop both our technical skills and develop what I call our artistic skills. We need to grow a mind that can help others, but also grow a heart that truly wants to help others. A few years ago, I traveled with the university's chapter of Engineers Without Borders to implement a water purification system in a Peruvian mountain village called Compone. It was a great opportunity to get real engineering experience and add to my resume. However, I did not expect that it would become an opportunity to develop those artistic skills. One day, a group of us were walking down a road uh, in the village when a young boy came riding by on his bike. We greeted each other, hola, buenos dias, and he biked ahead around the corner. A moment later, we saw the boy again, this time standing next to his bike, which appeared to be broken. He called us over, and we saw that the chain had just fallen off. While fixing it for him, we learned his name was Ronaldo. After he put the chain back on, Ronaldo said, gracias, and rode off again. A few days later, we were doing a large excavation elsewhere in the village. We invited the community to help out with shovels and picks. I was working hard to do my share when some little kid kept running around me and making obnoxious noises. I looked up and saw that it was Ronaldo. He was playing around while the rest of us were working. During a break, I decided to have some fun with Ronaldo. For those who know me, I'm really into hip hop and I love to break dance. So during lunch, I tried to teach Ronaldo how to beatbox along with some dance moves. You guys know beatboxing, right? It goes like. <laughs> Ronaldo, he, he was actually pretty good. So uh, we entertained ourselves dancing to our own beatboxing. On our last day in Compone, we were waiting for a bus to pick us up when I saw a little figure running towards us in the distance. Of course, it was none other than Ronaldo. I could not believe how cool this kid was. Just for fun, I put my stuff down and I started to break dance my way towards him. 
as a, he copied every one of my moves as he was running, even the handstands. When we finally met up, I gave him a big hug. I told him that we were leaving, and he responded with a sad face. I tried in my best Spanish to tell him I would miss him too, but then the bus came and I had to go. As we drove away, I looked back and thought, Ronaldo is such an awesome kid. I hope he grows up to be an amazing person. Then it dawned on me how terrible it would be if he got sick from drinking contaminated water. What if he wasn't able to go to school or later help provide for his family because he was ill? It would break my heart. It is those kinds of experiences that keep things in perspective for me and are some of the reasons why I want to always do my best. Ronaldo and so many other people like him deserve the best. I believe in the infinite potential in everyone. We can all be great, either as scholars, professionals, or even just as individuals. But to make a big impact, we will need capable minds and compassionate hearts. We need both because just knowing something does not always help someone and good intentions alone do not always do much either. I want to congratulate everyone here in reaching a huge milestone and I want to encourage all of us to continue developing our technical skills so we can overcome the challenges to whatever we are motivated to do. But let us also continue developing our artistic skills, growing our hearts so we are motivated to use our expertise to offer the best. Why is this important? Because what people need more than anything else is to be acknowledged and valued in a way that shows they are worth our whole effort. Only after developing those artistic skills will we be able to find greater success. But by then, our, our success won't really be the point anyway. Thank you. Thank you, HK. You may not know this, but your remarks almost caused me to choke. Because as you were talking about Ronaldo, I said, that boy could have been me. Because you don't know this, but I grew up in Peru. And I want to say I am blessed, and you are blessed. Because, there, because there's only one in 1,000 persons on this planet who has the opportunity of a college education. There are mi millions of young people in the world who don't even come close to the chance that you have today to get a degree from a great university. So thank us, thank you, HK, for reminding us. <laughs>